Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm going to do a breakdown on a blitz out of the big dime that I think you should be using. I started using it a lot here in the House Rules event. Still working my way through it. Really dislike it. People are staying in them way too long, making all these games way too long. It's, it's annoying. Anyways, I'm not looking forward to having to crank out another, whatever, 15 wins tomorrow before it ends. But anyways, the play is... The cover two sink out of the big dime one four six. I'm using the uh, New England playbook, uh, Jets playbook as well. Has this? I know people are rocking it out of this cover two sink. What I like about it is it uh, has the soft squats and that that blitzing like Nickelback guy. I guess is uh, getting in there really quick and on like sort of a contain angle. I'm just gonna go against a random play. I don't know how it's going to do in practice mode against it. it. It just kills online, though. It does really well. Generally, though, people aren't uh, aren't going to pass that much when they see it. When I see it, I'm running the ball, so it can... It's it's tough. The dime for 146, it can stop some runs. Other runs, it it, uh, it it has trouble with. I should go more into detail with that. I'll do that in another video, showing it against different runs. But in any case, right here, in against the Blitz... Actually, they might give us a random run play. What I like to do, I just move that guy in closer, this blitzing guy Jones here. I just have him right in near the pack, and then I put uh, this uh, middle linebacker, high tower, who I usually have a safety subbed in into a deep middle. And then I'm just going to use her Bentley, like, right here. I just kind of hover over, and then just kind of watching that, uh, that middle linebacker if he's going up, the, or no, the wide receiver if he's going up the seam, and then watching over in the middle of the field. But you do have to shoot the gap, like, immediately here if they run, run the ball. Yeah, so he's going to run the ball. That's pretty, pretty good. Breaks that tackle. That was pretty good, though. They only got, like, five yards on me. They, people, they can get much more. Let's see if you, the computer doesn't uh, do a passing play here. I may have to... Uh, do it. All right, so he automatically got right in there on the line, so I'm just going to kind of hover in front of this left guard right here. And see, yeah, there we go. We got a passing play. A little screenplay. Oh, I hate screenplays so much. All right, again, not not able to get too much on me there. Able to stop that. But what I find is that the pressure is getting in there very quickly. Uh, and you got that, like, pressure to back it up, too. Decent, uh, oh, wow. It's flipped on me here. It auto-flipped that way. So in that case, I would just kind of bring McCourtney over here What's like that i'm just watching those guys yeah he's passing it doing a good job oh in the middle makes that little one we're able to knock it down generally what i'm finding though is that pressure is getting in there pretty quickly and you can actually add a bit more pressure to it um you could actually just hit right on the d-pad and then down on the right stick and then i'll put all your middle linebackers into a blitz and then i would just kind of use oh i was gonna run it on me though and just take it right up my bum hole and just <laughs> just get a good gain on me the AI. that's the thing those runs will kill you but i find if they ever do pass on me here i should really have changed it to a passing play so we get jones right in here to get him closer to blitz and then i'd hover with collins and have that deep middle on the field just like this here and let's see how the computer's gonna handle it. Getting in there pretty quick, and then you just kind of got everyone in position to basically lock down all around the field outside of that. So generally, that's what I'm seeing. You can get also just add in some extra pressure, just kind of blitz all the linebackers, kind of get them just kind of. You'll see them. Uh, people will like show blitz a lot and stuff, and just get the linebackers just in really tight. It's basically what people want to do. You can press them, whatever. Just get it right in there. And then the soft squats should basically convert to, like, a man coverage. Um, or play them kind of deep. If, it's, if there's two of them, boom. There we go. Just the... You see, the defense just kind of flew in there that time. and got the sack so quickly. Anytime he tries to throw that out route, that boom, it's getting picked off. Getting a nice little gain down the field. So, I mean, I guess I didn't do a very good job in practice mo mode showing off this play too well. But, you know, online I'm having great success with it. It's definitely a play if you're running a 1-4-6 dime scheme. You should work into it. And if you're running the Patriots playbook as well, it's just good to have there. So, check this play out. Hopefully you're getting your run stops and working people into some pasty. I've been Time Bomb. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you later. Boom, boom.